Welcome to Kids Zone. I am so glad you have tuned in and you are here again. Today, we want to learn more about God, who He is. It was so good to worship with you together. When I hear this song of All Powerful, it just, I just can't contain myself. I have to move. We are spending a few months to answer the question. Who is God? We have learned so many characteristics about God already. And today, we're going to learn something new. God is always with us. Even though we might not really feel it, sometimes we even forget. But be assured, God is always with us. We find in Romans 8 verse 39, No power in the sky above or in the earth below, indeed. Nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Isn't that just awesome? Nothing in all creation can separate us from God. Do you have someone or know someone with you, whom you would like to spend some time with? Maybe a famous person or a superhero? 
you can pause me now and share with your family who it would be. With whom would you like to share or spend time with? And why would you want to do that? We may never get to spend time with those people, but you know what? We get to spend time with someone that is way more famous than whoever you would you have thought of right now. You know who that is? Yeah, it is God. God is always there. And we are going to read or to hear a story today where the people realized that God is there and that he is in a miraculous way helping and opening eyes and he is an awesome, great God and we get to spend time with him. We can spend time with him through reading the Bible, but we also can spend time through praying. And I feel like we need to praise him through prayer right now. So close your eyes, let's pray. We praise your name, Lord Jesus. You are our God, you are here right now. I thank you so much for every child that is listening and that is watching today. Please bless the families and touch their hearts, amen. Today's story is about two countries. We have on one side Aram and on the other side we have Israel. Those two countries, they were fighting with each other. And the Aramean king, he would make secret plans to attack the Israelites. But in Israel, where God's people lived, there also lived Elisha. He was a prophet. And a prophet is a man that hears God's messages, and then he tells the people the message that God gave him. And something really cool happened to Elisha all the time here. While the king of Aram was plotting plans to attack Israel, God, who hears everything and who sees everything and who knows everything, did something really cool. He told Elisha. And Elisha, he went to the king of Israel and revealed the plans of the Arameans. Don't you think that is cool? Like having God revealing the secrets of your enemy to you so that they can't trap you. I find that very cool. If you are in a battle and you get to sneak up onto your enemy and find out their secrets about you, that is a big, big advantage. The Israelites were God's children, so he wanted to protect them. And he used Elisha for that. After this happened several times to the king of Aram, he thought, who is the traitor amongst us? Who is running over to the Israelites and telling them what we are planning? But there was no traitor among the Arameans. No, there was no traitor. And then somebody came to him and said, there is no traitor here. It is Elisha. Elisha is a prophet of God, and he is the one who tells the king of Israel every time when we plan something against them. When the king of Aram found out about Elisha, he was pretty mad. He thought he would ambush Elisha. He would get rid of him so that there is no secret telling anymore. You can pause me now and get your Bibles. Open second Kings chapter 6 from verse 8. And then you can follow along when I read passages, okay? You can pause me now. While the king of Aram is plotting against Elisha, Elisha and his servant, they are in a city called Dothan. Imagine that where you are sitting or standing right now, that is Dothan. Let's read 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 14 and 15. Then he sent 
horses and chariots and a strong force there. They went by night and surrounded the city. When the servant of the man of God, that is Elisha, when he got up in the morning and went out early, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my Lord, what shall we do? The servant asked. So there they were in Dothan, surrounded by the army of the Arameans. And the servant was so afraid. But Elijah knew, God is with us. I don't have to be afraid. So let's read uh, verse 16. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. What does Elisha know what his servant doesn't know? Elisha was talking about God's army surrounding them. Imagine an army of angels with fiery chariots and fiery horses. Look around your room right now. Can you see anything like that? I see some red, like Right behind me, this flower might look like fire, but other than that, nothing. How about you? Elijah's servant, he didn't see the army, this fiery army around, surrounding them. He only saw the Arameans and he was afraid. So Elisha prayed, verse 17. And Elisha prayed, open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the servant, and he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire, all surrounding Elisha. Wow! Can you imagine this whole time the angels of God are surrounding you and protecting you? You can pause me now and then talk with your family and, and look around you for evidence that God is with us. After that, Elijah prayed another prayer. Uh, let's look at verse 18. As the enemy came down toward him, Elijah prayed to the Lord, strike this army with blindness. So he struck them with blindness as Elijah had asked. So Elisha tricked them into going into a different direction. Instead of leading the uh, Aramean army towards Elisha, Elisha himself led this Aramean army into a place where they would be surrounded by the Israelite army. Let's see how this, our story continues. Elisha told them, this is not the road and this is not the city. Follow me and I will lead you to the man who you are looking for. And he led them to Samaria. After they entered the city, Elisha said, Lord, open the eyes of these men so they can see. Then the Lord opened their eyes and they looked and there they were inside Samaria. And when the king of Israel saw them, he asked Elisha, shall I kill them? But Elisha, Elisha said, do not kill them. Would you kill those who you have captured with your own sword or bow? Set food and water before them so that they may eat and drink and then go back to their master. Who was their master? It was the Aramean king. Yeah, so that's what they did. They fed the Aramean army with a feast good food, and then they brought them back to their own country. But they never tried to attack Elisha or the Israelites again during that time. We might never have been surrounded by an angry looking army like the Arameans. And I really hope that we will never be surrounded by an angry looking army. But still, there are places and times 
where we need to remember that God is always with us. We have learned so much about God already, who he is. We learned today that God is always with us, even though we might not see him. There are a lot of things around us that we can't see, but we still know it is there. For example, the air we breathe or the sound we hear, it's there. I have a very cool experiment that we want to do, and I want to show you how sound can move. We want to see sound. For this experiment, we need a glass bowl, a Bluetooth speaker, a little mirror, surround wrap, a laser pointer, and a book that we can put underneath, like that. And then we play some music, and then we put point the pointer to the mirror, and it will bounce off onto the wall. And then let's play some music. Sing a brand new song You opened up my eyes to see You rescued me Rescued me You showed the way when there was no way out Cleared up my mind when you erased all doubt You made me strong when I was weak You rescued me Rescued me Using these few simple things, we could see sound move. Didn't you find that cool? What surprised you most? For me, it was like the sound was actually dancing to the music. I found that really cool. Sound is made up of sound waves. Most of the time, sound waves are invisible. The sound waves coming from the speaker made the bowl vibrate and move. The plastic stretched over the bowl is flexible and moves too, so it picked up the vibration of the bowl. The tiny piece of mirror attached to the plastic also picked up the vibration, so when the light from the laser pointer bounced off the mirror, it made the vibration and the invisible sound waves visible. The sound waves were there the whole time. But the vibrations and the light allowed us to see what we could only hear before. See, this experiment should remind us that even though we can't see waves, we know waves are there. And the same with God. Even though we can't see him, we can know he is there. In his word, we read, God is always with us, and God's word is true. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and I hope you will tune in next time again. Have a wonderful and blessed week. Bye.